Okay. I don't usually use apply angular force for stuff, but I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, I made this chair that uses a uh, pew pew artillery cannon, and it uh, calculates the projectile motion of the projectile, and then equates elevation and stuff. That's the projectile motion is fairly simple, but this will also calculate elevation, so I can hit stuff like up on mountains and so forth, which is. Which I'm sure a lot of people have made stuff like that, but I'm just proud because it took me a while to figure out how to do it, and it's actually very, very simple. Like, to a certain extent, it's very simple. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and take this and put some targets out there and show this thing in action. Where's the dupe? Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. I'll put a target over here, and a target over here. Target over here, and a target over here. Put a target up here. This might actually be out of the effective range. I'll put a target over here. <laughs> I'll put a target up here. A target up here. Okay. See, these are all at very different, uh, very different elevations and stuff. I can fire the chair from anywhere. I could fire it from up there, down here. It doesn't matter. It'll work correctly. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and switch the MP5 so I can have the crosshair. I know there's a setting for that, but I don't really care. Okay, first I'll target the stuff that's around on the same level. Here we go. There's a plate all the way out there. Boom. Fire. Direct hit. Boom. See, it's arcing way up in the air and then hitting directly. And then boom, direct hit. Okay, those were all the same levels, so of course I could hit those. Now let's aim at something a little different. Boom. It's like, it's about a foot off, so you couldn't hit a very small target, like a single man, directly. I mean, you could hit next to him. Now boom, still hitting him, but up here. Still hitting the target, so it's neat. Boom. Still, whoops, that one just completely missed. I think this is out of my effective range. Maybe if I aim down here. Well, I guess that one, I cannot hit this target. There we go. That was a hit. See, it's a little bit off. The farther away it gets, the harder it is to hit the target. Or the more that uh, thing grows. It's not 100% accurate. Although it's pretty close, because that's a pretty far angle to hit. I hit like anywhere. It gets pretty close. I don't think I can hit right. Okay, I can hit right there apparently. <laughs> very, very neat in my opinion. Very good. Boom. Very long range too. This is firing in an arc, so if you notice the gun at the top is not pointing exactly where I'm pointing. The bearing and, uh, the bearing is exactly the same, of course, but, like, the actual target, it changes as you go. You can't aim straight up, of course. So, see, it aims, the closer you get, of course, it'll aim straight at the target, but it'll hit any elevation, which is pretty neat, but it's pretty simple. It's, I mean relatively simple. I'll, look, I'll take a look at the expression for you if you want to see it. This is all the, uh, all the stuff for the apply force and apply angular force. Then we get into the actual stuff. I'm using a, uh, this is the distance equation in three-dimensional space. And then, uh, I use the pew pew, which is what I'm using function right here. It actually has a gravity function, so you can use that in the projectile motion equation. And I'm using the modifiable op artillery firing at a uh, velocity of 100. And then uh, I'm using the eye angles for my, my angle. And then what I'm doing is I'm getting the angle at which I'm looking's pitch, and then I'm adding that to the, this is the projectile motion equation. And uh, this gets the pitch that the gun needs to be at in order to hit the target that um, you're looking at. But that only works if the target's on the same level of ground as you are. So what I did was I took this elevation pitch angle and then I just subtracted it from that. And then that, uh, that summed them together. So then 
if the target's at a different elevation, then it just raises itself by the angle of elevation, which the parabola still works the same, so it still hits the target. Very simple. Yep, okay. Anyway, that's it.